Assault rifles are the most popular weapon class in the COD franchise. It's not hard to see why. They fit almost every playstyle, and since there's so many to choose from, it's easy to find one that feels perfect in your hands. That being said, some assault rifles have been a little too good, a little too dumb. What's up, everybody? Chaos here today. We're going to be looking at 10 of the absolute dumbest assault rifles ever put in a Call of Duty game. So let me know which of these you spam the most. Circle of trust. Drop a like, and let's get started with the bow. Let's just get it out of the way. I'm gonna, yeah, if I'm, if I'm starting a list with the BAL-27, things are gonna get really dumb. It was your starting assault rifle in Advanced Warfare. Everybody already knows how much it broke the game. Clean iron sights, easily controllable recoil. It was, it was one of the easiest weapons to use, and that's what made it so busted. It plus the damage in the fire rate. Up close, 34 base damage, 3 shot kill, max range. Only needed 5 shots to kill, eh, unless you got a headshot, and it would drop down to 4. That's not right. The fire rate was strange. It started out at 666 rounds per minute, and then it sped up to 705 after the first four rounds. But even if you were using the slower rate of fire, the time to kill was very impressive. The bow's versatility and the ease of use made it easily the best gun in the game. And then things got even dumber when you added the variants to the mix. I mean, you already know. It's one of the most infamous guns in COD history and certainly one of the dumbest ARs. And again, if I'm putting it at number 10, you can only imagine how insane things are going to get. Before we move on, guys, if you're excited about games like Hogwarts Legacy, if you're playing God of War, if you're excited for Assassin's Creed game, big games that are on the horizon, check out The Realm. The link is at the top of the description, uh, and you'll be one of the first to subscribe to it over there. I hope to see you guys over there. Now, we get to number nine, the Gra 556 in Warzone. When it was added as DLC in Modern Warfare, a lot of people didn't think anything about it. It functioned very similar to the M4, but it had a few Q changes that made it generally worse in multiplayer. But where the Graw really shined was Warzone. The Warzone version of the Graw was completely overpowered. It took forever for Raven Software to fully nerf it. It fired at 730 rounds per minute. It had pretty moderate base damage, but what really made it shine was the insane headshot multiplier and range drop off. It was incredibly accurate and it featured fantastic bullet travel time, making it easy, easy to use at long range. It also featured an insane 50% damage bonus to the head, which gave it an extremely fast time to kill if you aimed high. When the community figured out how to kit it for Warzone, it was game over. It was more reliable than anything else in the game, and since it had ridiculous damage at long range, it single-handedly killed the sniping scene. Raven had to nerf it several times before it was even remotely balanced, and even today, it's a solid rifle. That original version of the Warzone Graw will go down in COD history as one of the most dominant rifles you've ever used. You know it, I know it. It was dumb. At number eight, a rather new one. The cast-off 7-4U in Modern Warfare 2. I'm still not sure why Infinity War decided to rename the AK-7-4U in the game. I've said this like 10 times. I'm confused as to why it's listed as an assault rifle instead of an SMG, but no matter the reasoning, the cast-off is up there. Top-tier weapon when Modern Warfare 2 launched. It's easily one of the most powerful rifles in COD history. This rifle was meant to be lighter, more mobile, uh, a, a, a better version of the AK-47, but the damage, it, it, it's up there. There was almost no reason not to use the 7-4U over anything else because it had the insane killing power of the AK-47 with the mobility and versatility of an SMG. Fast time to kill, easy to control. There's a giant list of attachments you could use on it to make it even more dumb. The cast-off's been nerfed a couple times. It's not as objectively overpowered as it was during the first few weeks of Modern Warfare 2, but the original version, it was insane. I think most Modern Warfare 2 players are going to agree that it deserves to be on a list like this today. At number 7. The M4 in Modern Warfare 2019. Now, the M4 has appeared a million times over in Call of Duty. Not that many, but it feels like it. But rarely makes a massive impression. Generally speaking, it's middle of the road. Versatile assault rifle features a solid fire rate, low recoil, moderate damage. In games like COD 4 and the classic M Modern Warfare 2, the M4 was a great starting weapon. It helped you learn the fundamentals of the game. But in Modern Warfare 2019, the reputation changed forever. This version of the M4 was completely overpowered. Infinity Ward really, really dragged their feet when it came to nerfing it. The fire rate, the recoil, they were all great, but the damage, it was off the charts for some reason. Despite being an AR, it had the killing power and mobility of a heavy SMG, and it carried that crazy killing power for an insane distance. For the first few months of Modern Warfare, it was one of the only guns you saw in the field. And even after Infinity Ward nerfed it a few times, it remained one of the best guns on the field. Many people will always remember Modern Warfare as the M4's peak, and while the sequel's version was good... It wasn't as good as or as dumb as the 2019 version. At number six, raise your hand if you never got to play this on day one. The MSBS and COD Ghosts. When you think about great rifles from Ghosts, you probably think of the Honey Badger. You think of the Remington. You don't think about the absolute dumbest rifle from that game, 
It's the MSBS. Three round burst rifle. Completely took over the community when God or when COD Ghost launched. Ended up becoming a target of one of the heaviest and fastest nerfs in COD history. Originally, it was basically the COD 4M16, but better in every single way. Insane fate or rate of fire. Needed two shots to kill. Long list of attachments available to make it even better. Plus, you had the extensive perk system of Ghost at your disposal. The original MSBS was ridiculous. Infinity Ward stepped in with the nerf hammer mere days after Ghost launched. All in all, it was nerfed a handful of times. It's a mid-tier weapon, but if you boot up the game right now, well, actually, no, you can't. It's not going to do it. If you were playing Ghost at launch, you, you know how dumb it is. At number five, the STG-44 in Vanguard. Now, it's one of those weapons that's shown up plenty of times throughout COD history. It's certainly been up and down. Old school games, usually mid or high tier as a rifle, and then COD World War II, it was spammed pretty hard. Things that it hit an all-time high in COD Vanguard, though, when the STG was turned into the best gun in the game. Not only was it your starting AR, but it also featured one of the best times to kill in the entire game and one of the easiest to use. I'm not sure why Sledgehammer decided to make the Gunsmith have 10 attachments in this game, but the STG barely needed anything to turn into one of the most busted, dumb weapons at your disposal. Two-shot kill potential. Extremely generous. And since it handled very quickly and had no recoil, why would you not spam it? For the first few weeks of Vanguard, the STG was basically the only rifle anybody was using, and since you unlocked it by default, everybody had access to it at all times, which just made the problem worse. Eventually, Sledgehammer nerfed it a little bit, but to my understanding, it's still a high-tier rifle in Vanguard multiplayer. Not quite as busted as it once was, but it was dumb. At number four, the ACR 6.8 in Modern Warfare 3. Now, we've been talking a lot about rifles that were eventually nerfed, but the ACR 6.8 doesn't actually belong in that camp. Despite being objectively the best rifle in Modern Warfare 3, it was never nerfed. If you booted the game up right now, you still got to use it in all of its glory. 705 rounds per minute, hit between 45 and 30 base damage. Doesn't sound crazy on its own, but when you factor in no recoil, crystal clean iron sights, giant headshot bonuses, and super fast handling, you see the dumbness. If you hit an enemy in the head, the ACR was a two to three shot kill, and since it was one of the most accurate rifles in COD history, it was really easy to take advantage of that. You had to grind to level 50 to unlock it. That didn't stop people from just using their permanent unlock tokens on it and using the ACR for every single prestige after the first. Like I said, the gun was never nerfed. I mean, other weapons in Modern Warfare 3, the Striker, the FMG9s, they were nerfed, but the Doves never touched the ACR. You may have preferred the Modern Warfare 2 version, but the Modern Warfare 3 was definitely the dumber of the two, mainly because it was so much better than everything else in the game. I love the gun, but it was dumb. At number three, the AS Val in Modern Warfare 2019. It was added to Modern Warfare as part of Season 6, quickly made a name for itself, partially because it was completely bugged at launch and also partially because it was still overpowered after it was fixed. Full auto rifle, 20 round mag, it was baby mag, integrated suppressor, it made it great for close range combat, especially since it fired at 900 rounds per minute. It would hit for 47 damage a pop. That's juicy. That alone is more than enough to make it one of the best guns in the game. But when the AS Val first was added, there was a bug. It was a bug with one of the attachments made it completely ignore walls and cover, meaning you could wall bang people from across the map without even seeing them. For a few weeks, people were going into search and destroy with a bugged wall bang attachment, throwing snapshot grenades across the map, and then just popping people in the head from 100 meters away through 10 walls. So the gun was bugged and overpowered when it came out, and then after the bugs were fixed, it was just overpowered. Yeah, it gets a spot on the dumb list. At number two, the M16A4 in COD 4, perhaps the most infamous burst rifle in COD history. It's a gun you're probably tired of hearing about, but can you blame me for bringing it up one more time? 937 round per minute burst. If you're using stopping power, you could delete somebody from one burst from anywhere. Impressive two-shot kill distance, since you're firing at 900 rounds per minute, that's one of the fastest times to kill in the entire Call of Duty franchise by far. Mobility, great. Recoil, none. Fact that you were deadly from any distance made it easily the best gun in the game. Some people say it's the best rifle in COD history, but I still think there was un one other rifle that was dumber. Yes, the M16 was lethal anywhere and extremely easy to use, but it wasn't quite as dominant and as dumb as the FAMAS in Black Ops 1. When it comes to dominant assault rifles, I think it's the most meta-defining gun ever. Full auto rifle, 937 rounds per minute, killing three shots up close, four shots at max range. In terms of handling, very fast. It benefited heavily from perks like Slide of Hand Pro, Steady Aim, made it feel like an SMG. I mean, after all, this thing beat out almost every SMG up close while also beating out every AR at long range. Believe it or not, Treyarch actually nerfed the FAMAS at one point, but I would love to know what their thought process was because they didn't even touch the actual issues. When Black Ops 1 came out, the FAMAS was extremely accurate, which obviously made it the best gun in the game. But when Treyarch stepped in to make the thing a little more balanced, all they did was increase the recoil. That was it. 
So obviously the community adapted to the increased recoil so they could keep using the gun that melted literally every scenario, right? The Black Ops 1 FAMAS was hands down the best gun in Black Ops 1. It was not a question. You may love it. I may love it. But we have to be honest with each other. It was dumb. I think it was the dumbest rifle in COD history, and I don't think you're going to change my mind on this one. It may be iconic to the COD community, but there's no reason it should have been that good. One more time, guys, if you are into games and getting excited for games like Hogwarts Legacy or what's coming next from Assassin's Creed or God of War, check out The Realm. The link is at the top of the description. I hope to see you guys over there.